Today we're working on Euler and Hamilton paths. An Euler path is a path that uses every edge just once. Okay, its vertices may be reused, but you can't cross over an edge more than once. Very important. An Euler circuit is a path, so we can only use every edge just once, but it starts and finishes at the same vertex. Again, very, very important. Here's a little note, if we have a connected graph where all the vertices have an even degree, then an Euler circuit is possible. And of course you can go the other way. If you've got an Euler circuit, then you have to have uh, a connected graph where they're all even degree vertices. An Euler path is possible if the number of odd degree vertices, that means there's only odd degree vertices has to be zero or two, so you can't have more than than two, and you can't have one, but only zero or two odd degree vertices to have an Euler path. So that restricts your Euler circuit as well. Here we've got this example. We've got these vertices that we're just colouring in right now. And it says explain why this graph has an Euler circuit. Well remember to be an Euler circuit you have to have an Euler path. And an Euler path you only need zero or two vertices with odd degrees. Now if we look at E, that's an even one. If we look at D, that's an even one. There's two at the D. Look at C, there's one, two, three, four. There's four. And looking at B, there's two degree, and A has a degree of two. And if you look at that, that means they're all even. And remember, to have all this circuit, you need zero or two odd Degrees. We have zero degrees here because they're all even. So we have a Euler path and therefore we can have a Euler circuit. B says list an Euler circuit for this graph. Okay, now remember we can only use the edges once. Only once. Well, this one here doesn't matter really where we start because they're all even. We'll start at A, we'll go to B, and then from B you can go to C, C to D. D to E, E back to C. Remember, we can go to the vertices, we just can't use the same path, H, and then C back to A. So there is our circuit. We'll just write it down, A, B, C, D, E, C, and back to A. Okay, a Euler circuit. Here's an, another example. It says, explain why this graph has a Euler circuit, a Euler path, sorry, between B and C. Well, again, let's label these and how many degrees there are for each one. We've got two for A, two for B there. D has one, two, three, four for B, uh, sorry, four for D. C has one, two, three there, and B has one, two, three. So again, all the vertices except B and C are even. So we have two odd vertices here. Therefore, a Euler path exists. Then it says, list one possible Euler path between B and C. All right, so we'll start at B, because we have to start at B. We can go to D, and then from D, we can go to E. From E, we can go to A. A, we can go to B. B to C, C to D, and D to C. So there's one between B and C. Okay, I won't write it down because we've already gone through it in the thing. Right, Hamilton paths. Hamilton paths are different. They deal with the vertex. So the vertice, you can only go through every vertice once, exactly once. So I think if you're talking about Euler, Euler edges, Hamilton vertices. That's right. So don't forget that does not need to use all the edges. So you don't, you can, if there's more than the edges than you need, you, that's fine, you don't need to worry about it. And it can start and finish at different vertices. The circuit, however, just like the Euler, has to start and finish at the same vertex. And here we have the difference that Mr. Addy just said, right? Euler defined in terms of edges, Hamilton defined in terms of vertices. So this is right, Euler, Euler, edges, Hamiltonian vertices. 
Right, so this example three says for the graph determine a Hamilton path. All right, here's a Hamilton path. These are the edges here. And we'll just start at one and do the most simplest path at all. Remember, we just have to cover all the vertices. So we'll start at one, we'll go to two, from two to go all three, three to four, and four to five. There's an easy Hamilton path. Remember, we don't need to cover all the edges. A circuit, remember we've got to start and finish at the same place. So this time we'll start at one again. I'll just uh, change the colour here. Right, we'll start at one and we'll go to two. From two to we'll go to three. From three we'll go to five. Five we'll go to four. And four we'll go to one. So we start and finish at the same place. Again, we don't have to use all the edges. We just need to cover all the vertices. So one, two, three, five, four, one. Okay, very important. Here's a note. Every graph that has a Euler circuit... Not every graph. Sorry, not every graph that has a Euler circuit has a Hamilton circuit and vice versa. So you really need to work it out. Exercises are 23D.